Okay, so this is the current iteration of our pre-rotary instrument training pen. We developed this early on in the curriculum as a, a tool to train people how to hold a rotary instrument in a safe, controlled environment prior to actually using hand pieces in clinical work. Originally, we had looked at just getting students to use a pen and follow a maze. As you can see, this is a pen, and this is how you'd, you'd normally hold a pen. The issue with this is that a pen is not a contra-angled instrument. And so, although we can use a similar grip for a handpiece, it, it doesn't give us the exact same feel. We looked at different products that were available on the market. One of the things that we considered were pens designed to improve handwriting. One of the market potentials we found was this which has a slight angulation. But the issue with this is that it's not 90 degrees to the long axis. So although it would, in some ways, provide us with a little bit better simulation of the handpiece, it still wasn't perfect. And that's where we came up with the idea of making this pen. This pen is fully contra-angled, just like it would be if we were using a handpiece. We very simply made these by taking an impression of an existing handpiece and then setting acrylic within the impression around the insert from a pen. You may notice on this that we have quite a long shaft of the insert left. That could be cut down, but we haven't found that that hinders the way that we position it. This does fit in our hand the same way that a handpiece does. Slight differences would include the weight and the fact that there is no cable coming out the back of it. But for the first exercises, it works quite effectively, as you naturally find that you need a finger rest in order to control it. It feels a bit unusual, but after a few minutes of using it, it becomes quite easy. We use these in conjunction with different mazes. This is our very easy maze one, and the mazes increase in difficulty up until a very complex maze such as this one. What you'll notice about these mazes is not only do the shapes get more difficult, but the margin of error is greatly reduced as we have much narrower tracks for the pen to follow. As we progress through the exercises, we increase the difficulty. One of the ways we do this is by introducing mirrors. And for these, students will use the maze with indirect vision using this mirror here. We can decrease the size of the mirror to make it more complex using a standard mouth mirror. For these exercises, the maze is normally orientated in front of the student so that they can only see this through direct vision and must use the mirror in order to navigate the maze. The version you see here is version 3. We will in due course develop these further.